So, um, I don't know why it's taking me so long to do this story. Probably because I was doing something else and I had a couple of drinks. I get a phone call from my brother-in-law about an hour and a half, two hours ago. He was at the DMV and he was taking care of business. And um, during his time at the DMV, what do you say? Huh? Uncle Buck was at the DMV and a bunch of dudes bust in spraying people with mace, remember? And then it's all over the news right now. So, um, Uncle Buck calls me from oh, the man, DMV. Oh, man, never told me. What? You didn't tell me till just now, folks. Well, it's all on the news now. I, I really forgot about it. I really wasn't paying no attention, but I now that I saw it on the news, it reminded me. So, um, Uncle Buck calls me from the DMV, and um, three or four Hispanic dudes busting in, um, spraying people in the eyes with mace, and beating up on people at the DMV in our local neighborhood. He said they targeted other Hispanic dudes, but they sprayed a couple ladies in the face and was just punching people randomly. You know, and yeah, just, just huh? What do you say? You want to be there? It's not even funny, man. People don't even think like that. I mean, that, that so listen, there's a debacle at the DMV. Um, what have we become to when um, people take the gang violence to the damn DMV? Um, a couple years ago, there was a place called Agilent, and Agilent was in big business. And uh, was it Agilent or? Um, what wasn't Agilent. It was the other place. Uh, well, point is, these people made hard stints. Agilent, Agilent, we did computer stuff. Um, what was the name of the place? Okay, point this. They had this big old meeting, and um, what was the name of that company? Oh. Point like this. So, this company had is agent is uh, ag agent or agitech or something like that well plus they make heart stents here in sonoma county and um uh they gave away bonuses you'd have like a you work three months you get a fifteen hundred dollar bonus and um at the point at one point this was called uh telecom valley because we had a whole bunch of telecommunic comp telecommunication companies a few cable companies nintendo was here we did a lot of uh, meticulous, you know, digital type circuitry board work, you know, a lot of factory work like that in this county. So there's this one company that came in and they did medical stuff and they did heart stents. Let's cut it short. So every three weeks they'd have these meetings and every three months people would get $1,500 bonuses. So these people were turning out heart stents like so many million heart stents, you know, blah, 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 blah. And a friend of mine was telling me they went to the annual meeting. And one gang group, the gang members sat on one side and the other gang members sat on the other side of the room. They was at work and a gang fight broke out. I'm not going to say these was Hispanic gang bangers or Mexican gang members. But in Sonoma County, you have white, black, and Mexican and mostly they are Mexican gangs with black elements or white elements or white and black elements against the Mexican element blah 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 but these are small minute pockets of I guess rebels or resistance or groups of people who fight against society as a whole by waging war against themselves thus making all of their species and or race look bad young people and or Hispanic people and or young or black people or young white people so um, these two groups of people broke out in fighting at a meeting at work and it, it brings us to today if you see somebody you got beef with at the DMV does that warrant you calling up your boys and getting pepper spray and coming back spraying people all up in the face so I'm going to leave some links to the side, but I had a phone call from in the DMV earlier today while this was going on, and, and I didn't report on it fast and promptly because I'm like, he's like, man, this shit was crazy, da da, blah, blah. He wasn't too enthusiastic about it. He wasn't afraid and or scared, but everybody else was in a panic and a frenzy and right before they closed the DMV down he's like hey 
Can you still keep continue to call numbers? Because my number ain't called yet. And if you uh, know anything about the DMV in California, it's like bingo now. You go in and you get a number and you sit there and you wait for your numbers call. Whatever incident happened at the DMV today did not make it. It was not so bad this brother didn't want to get up and leave his spot in line. Um, but for it to be news, and it's going to probably be national news because anything like that in a, you know, government facility or building is automatically, you know, news. Um, for a band of people to believe they can rush in and hold a bunch of people hostage or, you know, frighten a bunch of people because they want to kick the ass of a handful of people, that's not only childish but stupid. And when people do this, it puts restrictions on all of us because we have to all live in the same fish tank. And if two or three guppies fuck up, it fucks it up for everything in the tank. Excuse my language, but I have to be real about it. If two or three people screw up in the DMV, we will all be walking to one glass window. See what I'm saying? Or we will be in a room, and in this room, it will be seven or eight windows going across the back wall. It will be nothing but people in here waiting for their number to call. And then walk up to one window where there's no contact or any action towards you can hurt anybody other than a fellow citizen. That's what's going to happen. If people continue to run a muck. And I'm not just bashing the gangs, but, you know, Uncle Buck, he said this was Hispanic on Hispanic violence, and it's just people was in the wrong place at the wrong time, which was the DMV to take care of business before the holidays. Uh, <laughs> makes no sense to me what race or color you are when a group of hooligans decide to go into a public building to take care of their own personal vendettas that brings us to one point a lot of people don't have no work maybe we should start teaching people how to stand there like sirens and when something goes bad point and scream like a bunch of damn zombies in a stupid movie trying to point out the only human left in a room I'm tired of hearing that people have to be scared in public they got a man going on trial right now in um, San Francisco for stabbing people randomly um, when is it going to be too much and when is it going to be too much for the people and when is it going to be when the police state comes into full effect and we walk around like those characters in the orange book or is it orange box in the orange box series you know what I'm saying half-life series and you just going through your everyday life walking around a complete zombie damn like police state is that going to happen because people can't get the gumption together to keep their brains in their head just like the guy on the BART station flipping out on the train the cop slams his ass up against the wall Pooh, not a wall a glass <laughs> window safety glass but flawed safety glass at that time after time after time people fall into bad situations now these people who were injured today at the DMV they didn't have to go through somebody else's drama somebody else's pain because somebody thought they saw a rival gang member in the DMV taking care of business before Christmas this is stupid this is stupid let's grow up people thank you for your time Happy holidays, and I will see you after the holidays. Police Navidad. Police towed my car. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Kwanzaa. Happy Bye. <laughs> You're happy every time you know you do your thing. Bye. Um, yeah, and Happy New Year. Like I said, hey, I may do my next video from the luxurious state of Nevada in the wonderful city of Las Vegas yes the real AIX will be in Vegas for New Year's <laughs> you've been too